Hi, my name is George Lumpkin. I'm Vice President of Product Management in Oracle's Database Development Organization. And today I want to talk to you for a few minutes about Autonomous Data Warehouse. This is really an exciting cloud service where we're really introducing a whole new chapter in data management and how to use databases. You know, when we set out to create Autonomous Data Warehouse, we really stepped back and we thought about how organizations build data warehouses and how organizations use databases in their own data centers today. And we thought about how this could be entirely changed and how we could provide an entirely new experience in the cloud. And so as we set out to build Thomas Data Warehouse, we really focused on three things that we think can be very different. First of all, we designed this service to be as easy as possible. And this is what Autonomous is all about, to be able to make the database self-managing, make the database self-repairing, have the database take care of itself in every single aspect. Second of all, we want to deliver fast performance, and deliver this fast performance consistently for all data warehouses, regardless of the type of workload. Third, we want to make this data warehouse fully elastic give customers the flexibility to be able to say, hey, tomorrow I want to grow my data warehouse by 4x. Sure, no problem, right? Be able to shrink the data warehouse, the, the capacity and the compute of the data warehouse as your workloads grow and shrink. These three things together really comprise sort of a new experience for how to manage a data warehouse. And I want to sort of step through some of the characteristics of each of these, how it's easy, how it's fast, and how it's elastic. So you can really get a little more understanding of the autonomous data warehouse. First of all, let's look at right when you start using this service. You're going to come into Oracle's cloud, and you provision, you create a new data warehouse. And when you do that, there's only four things you're going to be asked to provide. You need to give a database name, Specify the number of CPUs, the number of terabytes, and type in the password. And that's it. This is as simple as it gets. And this starts to sort of foreshadow what it means to be an autonomous data warehouse. Because what's hidden in this simplicity, just four questions, are all the questions that you're not having to answer. You're not having to specify what type of hardware servers you should use. You're not trying to, you don't have to specify what type of storage, whether you're using flash or spinning disk, or how much memory is on your system, or what version of the Oracle database software is there. Because this is what an autonomous database is. Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse is making optimal decisions for how to configure and manage the system. That's the autonomous data warehouse experience. And you know, I think it's important to realize you know, when we start talking about autonomous, we're not talking about a cloud service that's just more automatic or more automated. It's really a completely different concept. And I think one way to think about this is look at an analogy. Let's look at cars. You know, in cars today, and for the past many decades, we've seen cars become more and more automatic. They have automatic transmission, you have features like cruise control, you know, newer cars have the ability to stop themselves if something appears in the road in front of them. But those cars may be more automatic, but they're not autonomous. You know, we're kind of on the cusp of autonomous cars that are being tested. In an autonomous car, the car is driving itself. There's no need to use the steering wheel or brakes. You're just sort of telling the car where to go. And this is the difference, same difference for databases. The Oracle database has spent decades building more and more automatic and automated features. We have automatic storage management, automatic workload repository. We have dozens of features where the Oracle database has become simpler and more automated. But autonomous data warehouse takes it to another level. Just as an autonomous car drives itself, autonomous data warehouse manages itself. And this is really a qualitatively different experience for running a database. And this is what we set out to design. And this sort of permeates the whole service, right? When you look at the basic administration of the database, right? Oracle just automates the end-to-end -end management of the database. We make it really simple to provision a database. 
You can grow and shrink the database anytime you want, just with the press of a button. Just click, say, scale up or down, choose the number of CPUs, and click OK. Oracle Thomas Data Warehouse is taking care of the patching and upgrades. All of this happens in the background. The users never need to be concerned or make any decisions about it. Oracle Thomas Data Warehouse backs up the database automatically. So really, sort of the full life cycle of data management is autonomous. You, as a customer, do not need to worry about managing your data warehouse. And you can view this and do the basic management type of operations, like creating a new database or scaling, using our service console on the web. But you can also use APIs to be able to script it yourself and be able to incorporate you know, very large, sort of managing very large number of cloud services. So Oracle Thomas Data Warehouse provides automated management. It also provides automated tuning. For Autonomous Data Warehouse, we set out to build a new experience for how you should think about loading and running queries in a data warehouse. We sort of call this load and go. Just load your data and start running queries. Specifically, with Autonomous Data Warehouse, you don't have to have any type of database tuning expertise to, to run this system. You know, when you look at organizations who manage their own data warehouses, they think about how to tune the database. They think about how to partition the different tables and whether to build indexes and what to put in memory. None of those decisions apply to Autonomous Data Warehouse. You simply define your tables, load your data, and run the queries. As I mentioned, you know, we're running on top of Exadata, so we get fast performance out of the box with really sort of zero tuning. And you know, we deliver on this promise. You know, a lot of customers sort of sit and say, hmm, you know, I've run a database before, and I know that we have to do some performance tuning. Oracle is doing the performance tuning. And those customers who come and tried Autonomous Data Warehouse said, wow, that was really good performance. And so we encourage you to use to, to try out Autonomous Data Warehouse, load your data, run your queries. You're going to be impressed with the performance. A third area where Autonomous Data Warehouse is really fully automated is in the area of reliability. You know, we build this service on top of the Oracle database, on top of Oracle Exadata. We're building upon decades that Oracle has invested in making its database infrastructure fault tolerant and highly available. So we built this service on top of highly available infrastructure, implementing all of Oracle's best practices around reliability. And indeed, as we run this service, one of the key things that we do is we do online patching today. This is a hard technical problem that Oracle's one of the few vendors that's really solved this. And be able to have your data warehouse running, run queries, and connect to your data warehouse at any time. But also have your data warehouse up to date on the latest security patches and the latest features. We do our patching for autonomous data warehouse online. We do not bring the database down. We've been running online, patching regularly, introducing new features to our customers. So I went to switch gears a little bit. I talked about how Atomas Data Warehouse really provides a lot of autonomous capabilities in the area of managing and administering a database, and tuning a database, and keeping the database always available. I want to talk about sort of another dimension of the Atomas Data Warehouse, and that's the elasticity. The whole idea of elasticity is to set up a cloud service so you pay for exactly what you use. And so let's give a few examples of what it means to pay for what you use. When you create a new data warehouse, we already saw that you choose the number of CPUs and number of terabytes that you need for your data warehouse. You're not choosing a specific size hardware server or a specific number of nodes of a hardware server. You're saying how many CPUs you need for your data warehouse. So you're sizing it for exactly your requirements. Once you have your data warehouse running, you can scale it up or down on demand. As your data warehouse grows, you add more storage, you begin to pay a little more for the extra storage, you add more users, you have more CPUs. 
but you can scale your data warehouse anytime you want. If your workload goes up at the end of the month and then goes back down for the rest of the month, you can scale up or down as your workload rises and, and ebbs. If you have a sandbox or some data mart that's not used all the time, you can even shut off your CPUs in order to save money. Again, the whole idea of elasticity is providing a cloud framework so that you are not just buying a large server that sits idle for much of the time, but you're paying for exactly the capabilities that you use. Now, when we introduced Autonomous Data Warehouse, we really focused on providing a database service for the cloud. But everyone who's worked in the field of analytics and in big data and business intelligence knows that a data warehouse architecture comprises of other components. And so I just wanted to quickly illustrate that here. The autonomous data warehouse with the database with its built-in service console. And then we expect that you would use autonomous data warehouse in conjunction with other cloud services or with other software products that you may have running in your data center today. So you need to use data integration to be able to load data into autonomous data warehouse. You need business intelligence and business analytics solutions to access those. We believe the best solution is to run everything in Oracle's cloud. Use Oracle data integration, Oracle analytics, alongside autonomous data warehouse, having it all run in one cloud. But we also recognize that many organizations have existing tools and existing frameworks that they've used in the past. And we fully support those as well. Because the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse is, of course, built on the Oracle database. And all of the existing tools that work on the Oracle database are going to work with the Autonomous Data Warehouse, right? So we allow customers the choice to be able to bring their existing tools and continue to run those against Autonomous Data Warehouse. And customers should also just run within Oracle's cloud and use Oracle's cloud services like Oracle Analytics, Oracle Data Integration, and many other services as well in conjunction with Autonomous Data Warehouse. Now, how do you get to Autonomous Data Warehouse? But we focus on making the migration to Autonomous Data Warehouse as simple as possible. If you have an Oracle Data Mart today, you can migrate by exporting your data out of your Oracle Data Mart, moving the export files into Oracle's cloud storage, and then importing it into Autonomous Data Warehouse. As we do the import, we recognize that how Oracle does its autonomous tuning may be different than what you did for your own data mart. And we will adjust the schema accordingly to bring your data mart into sort of Oracle's autonomous data warehouse framework. We provide other migration capabilities. For example, we have a migration workbench for migrating from AWS Redshift. And we support migrations from other systems as well. We have workbenches for other databases also. So just to summarize, right, you know, with Autonomous Data Warehouse, you know, I talked about how it's easy, how it's fast, how it's highly elastic. These are some of the key sort of service characteristics of Autonomous Data Warehouse. But what these map to are really business benefits, a business benefit of lower cost. It costs less to run and manage an autonomous database. You need less labor, and it costs less because it's elastic. You only have to pay for exactly what you need. You can build a data warehouse much faster, right? We can provision a data warehouse with dozens of CPUs and dozens of terabytes in just a couple of minutes. You can do your initial deployments faster. And then because you don't have to worry about tuning the system, you're able to add new data, add new queries much more rapidly than you could in the past. So it's a much more agile system. And then your data warehouse will have higher service levels. Really, what we've done with autonomous data warehouse is we've applied all of Oracle's sort of best practices around performance, availability, and security to deliver sort of the best possible database experience. And we believe with autonomous data warehouse, we deliver higher service levels, higher levels of performance, higher levels of availability, and higher levels of security than what most any organization is able to deploy in their own data center. Now, who should use the autonomous data warehouse? Well, we're focused, as the name says, 
on data warehouse workloads. This is a database service designed for doing analytics. And we think it's a phenomenal platform for new data warehouses and new data marts. This is the perfect system to get started in Oracle's cloud. It's easy to use, does not require much technical expertise, and can deliver business benefits really quickly to a business group that's looking for a new data mart or a new data warehouse. But the much larger opportunity, many organizations have their data warehouses and data mart. So those can be moved to autonomous data warehouse. And the focus there would really be to sort of lower the ongoing cost of maintaining those existing systems. So we're really excited about autonomous data warehouse. We really think that autonomous databases represents a whole new chapter in the data management industry. This is how databases should work. They should be autonomous. They should not need to be administered and managed. They should be focusing on delivering the business benefits for your end users. Thank you for watching today. We hope you are as excited about autonomous data warehouse as we are. We really think that this is a whole new generation, a whole new chapter in data management. For more information about autonomous data warehouse, please visit us online.